Hello everyone, I am Yathat Suru from Encryption Consulting and today we are going to compare encryption and hashing which sound quite similar but are two separate cryptographic functions. First, we will talk about encryption, its types and the algorithms being utilized. Then we will move on to giving a brief overview of hashing and finally we will state the differences between the two. Let's begin with the basics of what is encryption. Encryption is a method of scrambling information, so only approved key holders can comprehend the data. In other words, we can say that encryption is the process of converting plain text into ciphertext to secure the communication between the two parties. Now, we are going to talk about different types of encryption, the first being symmetric encryption. In this, the same key is used for both encryption and decryption. The key must be exchanged so that both the data sender and the recipient can access the plain text data. It is often referred to as bulk encryption because of its speed when encrypting large amounts of plain text data. Symmetric algorithms are the most commonly used and have the capability to encrypt large amounts of data in little time because of a single key and lesser complexity when compared to asymmetric encryption algorithms. Some examples of symmetric algorithms include Triple DES, Advanced Encryption Standard, also abbreviated for AES, RC2, RC4, and RC6. The second type of encryption is asymmetric encryption. In this, two separate but mathematically related keys, known as public key and private key, are used for encryption and decryption processes. This encryption process is more secure because the private key is possessed only by the user or computer that generates the key pair. Whereas the public key can be distributed to any person who wishes to send encrypted data to the private key holder. It's mostly used for digital signing, blockchain and public key infrastructure. Asymmetric algorithms are used in PKI enabled applications for public key encryption and digital signatures. Some commonly used algorithms are DSA, RSA and Defi Hellman key agreement. Here RSA algorithm can be used for both encrypting and signing data, whereas DSA can only be utilized for the signing process. Now let's move on to discuss about hashing. A hash algorithm takes a plain text document as an input and produces a mathematical result for the two inputs. This mathematical result is often referred to as a hash value, message digest, or thumbprint. Strong hashing ensures data integrity, security against unauthorized modifications, and protection of stored passwords. Now let's learn what some of the most common hash algorithms are. The first is MD5. This algorithm takes a message of any length and produces a 128-bit message digest. MD5 was long considered a go-to hashing algorithm, but it's now considered broken because it results in collision in the wild. Next we have is secure hash algorithm. This family of hashes contains SHA-1, SHA-2, and SHA-3. SHA-1 has been deprecated and the most used hashing algorithm now is SHA-256, which is a part of SHA-2. Next we have is Whirlpool. It is a hash designed after the square block cipher. It takes a message of any length, less than 2 to the power 256 bits, and returns a 512 bit message digest. The last is Argon2, which is a cryptographic hash algorithm specifically designed to secure passwords. Now let's discuss few key traits of a hashing algorithm. Firstly, a hashing algorithm should be deterministic, which means that it should always give you an output of identical size, regardless of the size of input. Secondly, it should have pre-image resistance, which means it should be computationally hard to reverse a hash function to recover the original input plain text message. Thirdly, it should be collision resistant. If two unique samples of input data result in identical outputs, it's known as a collision. This is a bad thing as someone could create a malicious file with an artificial hash value that matches a genuine file and pass it off as a real thing because a signature would match. Thus, a strong hashing algorithm is one that is resistant to such collisions. Lastly, hashing shall take place at a reasonable speed. This is considered an ideal property for cryptographic hash function. Now that we have discussed the basics of encryption and hashing, let's move on to comparing both. Encryption is a two-way function in which plain text data is encrypted to prevent unauthorized parties from accessing the data and decrypted only by the person who has the key. Hashing, on the other hand, is a one-way method of hiding sensitive data. It would take immense computing power, time, and cost to brute force it. Encryption is reversible, whereas hashing is irreversible. The output in encryption has a variable length. 
whereas in hashing, the output has a fixed length, which represents the deterministic property. Encryption can be categorized into two types, symmetric and asymmetric, whereas hashing only has one. Common encryption algorithms include AES, RC4, DES, RSA, ECDSA, whereas that of hashing are SHA-1, SHA-2, MD5, Whirlpool. Now let's talk about the use cases where encryption and hashing can be utilized for different purposes. Encryption can be used for encrypting data in transit and address, for storing and retrieving data in databases and for authentication methods. Hashing on the other hand can be used to compare large amounts of data for mapping data in digital signatures and on passwords. That will be all from my side. Thank you for watching and to learn more about encryption and data protection related terminologies, please visit our website.